Indeed, watchtowers like this one were built by the Irish chieftains so they could survey the Shannon and keep a close eye on any movements of their enemies. This one at Clononi was built by the Cockburn clan and they held it for a couple of centuries until eventually it came into the hands of one of the most notorious families in the British monarchy. Anne Boleyn, the executed wife of King Henry VIII and mother of Queen Elizabeth I. Yes, it turns out Clononi Castle was owned by her family. But how did a Gaelic watchtower become a Tudor castle? Former American ballerina Rebecca Armstrong is the owner and guardian of Clononi today, and she's able to reveal all. Well, when Henry was enamored of Anne Boleyn, she wasn't royal. So he had seized this castle from the Cocklands during the Wars of Dominion, and he gave it to her father, Thomas Boleyn, making him the Earl of Ormond, making her a countess and marriageable by a king. Now that worked out really well for the first few years. And then when he got tired of her, he chopped off her head and her brother's head and her cousin's head and her sister-in-law's head. And so these two ladies, Mary and Elizabeth Boleyn, nieces to Anne Boleyn, cousins to Queen Elizabeth I. They were sent back here for safety. They lived out their lives here, and their tombstone is under the tree as you go out. This is extraordinary. It turns out Anne Boleyn's nieces are buried in Offaly. When I first came here, people were telling me Anne Boleyn was buried here. And I said, no, I'm quite sure she's buried in the White Tower in London. But for a 500-year-old Irish story, they were only off by a cousin. So, Rebecca, if these walls could speak, what tale would they tell of the, the Boleyn sisters? They were countesses. They had the entire village as servants, but they had no friends because the aristocratic families, the English planted families, wouldn't touch them because they were tainted by Henry. And they felt that they were above the Irish and also the Irish were Catholic, and these ladies would have been of the new religion. So in effect, they lived a life of splendid isolation. Exactly. When the one died of old age or complications probably caused by old age, the sister, there was only one year's difference in the two. Um, the other sister didn't want to go on alone. She probably wasn't well, um, so she jumped from the tower. Do we know? Which sister went first and who jumped in the tower? We do not know which was which. You know, looking at their images there on the wall, there's a remarkable family resemblance between Anne, her two nieces, and Anne and her daughter, of course, who became Elizabeth I of England. It's uncanny, isn't it? I do think it, it's part of their strength. Yeah. You know, even their chromosomes don't vary. Yeah. They are very, very strong women. Apart from Elizabeth and Mary Boleyn, I'm also intrigued by Rebecca. How did an American ballerina end up in a castle in Offaly? Well, I found this um, on the way to Clamac Noise one time, and I just thought it was... Well, I made a joke. I said, I can't believe my husband didn't buy me this castle because it's the only wreck that's worse than the one we're in. Right. But once I finished the one we were in, I was ready for another one, so... Yeah. So, um, so you, you've, you've lived in a series of castles? Oh, yes. Restoring as you go? Yes, yes. Is that a vocation, or what's that about? Oh, it's a calling. So, ah. did, you, did you actually physically do some of the restoration here? I did all of it. Like the plaster? And, uh, oh. Yes, yes. Um, I completely re restored the ceiling. You restored that? Yes. And how did you do that? Scaffolding up there uh, for a year. And occasionally, my late husband would swan in and say, when will you make an end of this? And you know, Rebecca, any castle worth its salt has to have a resident ghost. Do you have one? Well, of course. Do you really have one here? Yeah? No, really, yes. It's, it's listed as one of the haunted castles of Ireland. Really, yeah? And many people have seen a ghost in full armor walking the parapet at the top of the castle uh, in a pale green light. I had a psychic here last summer, and he said, do you want to see the ghost? and he actually made him appear. So now I know what he looks like, and I haven't seen him since. Time to leave the ghosts and fortresses of Shannonbridge behind. 